Now, when it comes to the Affordable Care Act, you may have questions like, when is the next enrollment period and how does it affect me when I go to file my taxes? This morning, I actually spoke with an expert who can help explain some of those details. Even if you've heard about the Affordable Care Act, you may still be confused about how the law impacts you, your finances, and your taxes. Whether you already have health insurance or not, this is the year when major changes to health care and taxes begin. With more than 15 years experience in tax preparation, Lisa Lewis from TurboTax is here to clear some things up for us. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Now, of course, Affordable Care Act was all over when it first kind of rolled out, and now we're kind of rolling into the time uh, when we're going to need to see how it affects our taxes. Kind of let me know what's, what's new with it. Um, under the Affordable Care Act, most Americans were required to purchase health insurance by March of this year or face a tax penalty. What's new is starting Saturday, November 15th is open enrollment for the new, the 2015 open enrollment period. So those that are uninsured or want to re-enroll or check out their options, they can purchase health insurance in the marketplace during that time. And then if they're able to purchase in the health insurance marketplace, they may receive assistance through a subsidy. Now that word subsidy, what exactly does that mean and, and who does it uh, available for? A subsidy, or what's known as an advanced premium tax credit, helps you pay for your insurance, and it's applied to your insurance premium in advance. And TurboTax has created this great free online resource where you can go in and see if you're eligible for a subsidy and also see uh, and get an estimate of what your subsidy will be. So do we know if there's any, I mean, it's a little premature, but do we know if there's any tax compl complications that are going to be going on this year? The big decision with health care is choosing health care for your family. The easy part is reporting it on your taxes. So, no, I don't see any complication with it. Nine out of ten Americans are actually already insured through their employer, Medicare or Medicaid. Um, with your employer, you know, the reporting is going to come on your W-2 form. If you go through the health insurance marketplace, um, it's going to be on the 1095A form, and you just input information there. And then for the 29 million TurboTax customers, it's going to be as simple as checking a box. And I've used TurboTax for many, many years, and it is. It is very easy to follow along. So, again, Lisa, can you tell us the dates again for that open enrollment for anyone that would like to go ahead and, and get on board? Yeah, it's starting Saturday, November 15th, and it lasts through February 15th, 24, I mean, sorry, 2015. And then, of course, uh, the cutoff date, if you do not have any insurance, again, is in March, correct? Um, this, uh, for this open enrollment season, it's going to end February 15th, 2015. All right, so I'm so glad we have another opportunity to definitely get enrolled. And TurboTax is going to make this very easy for us when we're ready to go ahead and do our taxes and definitely knowing where to click on with whether we have the insurance or do not. So do you think there's anything else we need to know kind of going forward? Um, I would just emphasize, you know, the open enrollment period is from November 15th to February 15th of next year. Um, you could get their ins your insurance there. And if you have any more questions about the Affordable Care Act, you can go to TurboTaxHealth.com. You can find out if you're eligible for insurance through the marketplace, whether you're eligible for a subsidy, and you may be eligible for an exemption. You can find out there. Well, thank you so much. I know it can be a bit confusing, but you're definitely making it a lot easier for us, Lisa. Thank you so much. Thank you. The Morning Blend will be right back.